Hello dear friends. So today's video is all about coasters. As you can see here I created different designs. In the winter I always like to drink a lot of tea and downstairs we have a glass table which when I put the tea glass directly on it and some of the tea spills out or I don't know I don't take care I always have these stains on the table on the glass I hate that. I am really happy that I have now my own coasters that I can put on there and the very special thing about these are so these ones they don't have the habit but mm, this one has coasters that smell what TPU that smells what never ever but yeah they smell at least uh, the topping up here. The black one is the TPU from Extruder uh, 98A shore hardness and the top that I want to use for the, the series of coasters that I want to print they all smell and you know Mia shared it uh, recently on Twitter that she found these on a web store called filament world it's from germany and the nice thing about them is that all the filaments that they sell are also available as samples mostly the companies don't they don't all offer samples but they they do and the company that i am talking about here now that make these scented tpus i bought six of them i already winded them up on a sample spool i will put them here now like this okay you can see i already winded them up on spool spool sample spools i use this design here which has a big bigger diameter it will also work nicely for pla i will share the link below and as i have so many filaments on stock you know because in the past i always had to buy the full roll so I, and the, I, I guess in the future I will test them out a bit more because yeah I would rather buy a sample for a little bit higher price than buying a full roll that I would hard, hardly ever use up. So in the meantime I have a big stock of filament and I think I will not use them up in years. So what do they, do, what do these smell like? So we have here the wild strawberry. This is this one here. This was the sample I showed you. And this one. Very, very nice. They are all very nice, but the, the strawberry at the moment is my favorite. And then we have vanilla muffin. This is this one here. This also smells very strong. They have in total, I think, from Technicoa, I guess I counted nine or ten different flavors, but I just kept, uh, yeah, I just bought these six for the moment. Uh, maybe in the future I will buy all of them, but I wanted to test first. So here this is the sweet lemon. Mm. Then we have the sweet peach. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then we have acid apple. Yeah. And we have, as you can see, the, the colors. <laughs> They fit quite closely uh, to the filament, so they are all printed in PLA. And uh, then we have here the, the fresh mint. Mm, this is really fresh. <laughs> okay, so uh, these are all the, the designs I want to print. I, it will take some time. And prior to this, I did some tests using Prusa Slicer. Recently, they introduced their uh, ironing uh settings and i tried you know in the beginning you know i just i just shared my 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 design i was so happy and and then they said yeah but it's so rough why don't you use the ironing and then i started testing you know i tested i tested i i used some presets and then i tinkered i tinkered i tinkered i tinkered you cannot imagine i'm quite good at tinkering and i don't i never give up as you can see but I always had these funny stripes here 
And of course, in the beginning, I also had some over extrusion. And yeah, so this, yeah. But I always, no matter what I tried, you know, the, the, the topping got better. So this was the first one here that was totally over extruded. That was so awful. But I, I got better with the, with the printing on top. And, but I never was happy with, you know, with the, with the top layers of the, of the black here. This is also one of the first ones. I got a little bit better. So this one here was already getting better. But uh, I was never totally satisfied, as you can see here, as I'm a perfectionist. Here, this one, I even did the, the color change in a, the, the, the wrong layer. So this is a small little sample that I created. I guess the ironing will work very nicely on PLA, but I simply didn't get it to work on the TPU. Maybe you, you are better than I am. And then I switched over from the presets that I had before. I, I just, I said, I used flex, semi-flex or flex flexible or something. They would, I think there are three, three different TPU settings. And then the last one, that was the best one and I simply just turned it off again, you know, the ironing. And I used the Saint Smart TPU settings. I also tinkered uh, with them. And you can see the, the other sample that I had, this is not the one that, that smells, but uh, luckily uh, it was finished here. But it's not about that, but take a look at the, the top layer here. This looks like 90% really satisfying, a little bit of these stripes here again. But this is much, much better than when I tried the ironing. And it is also much better than, you know, the beginning point where I had this rough surface. So I will, if you want, I will share the, the settings that I, I have. I will, I will share, I, I will share on uh, Prusa website, you know, together with the designs. And uh, so you can give it a try too. Maybe it also works for, for the TPU that you have. And, um, yeah, so I will print really, really slow and later at the end of the video, you will see the results. Okay, for the moment. Two days later. Hello, so here you can see the result of my TPU coasters. I will hold them into the camera. So I designed these myself. I already removed the micro uh, spider webs using this lighter here. It is, has like a, a very fine and exact flame that you can point quickly at the spider webs and they will um, be removed. Here is the, the fresh mint. Then the strawberry. And as you can see, the top layer now looks really, really nice. I've, I tinkered uh, uh, with the settings that I had. I created a Prusa slicer setting. This was the one in the beginning. I don't know, you can see it's very rough. I don't know if the camera shows it. And the new one is very, very smooth. I didn't have uh, uh, good luck with the ironing function. So here's the, the Apple design. I created all these using Fusion 360. I'm learning how to use it at the moment. So these are all my own designs here. This is the, the lemon, then the peach, so little stars as you can see. I will share it with you. Um, I will put the links to the, to the files underneath. This one here is not my own design. I just wanted to show that you could also download a SVG. I don't know if I'm able to find the source of this anymore. So I don't know if it's okay. But if somebody says, no, I don't want it, it's my design, please contact me. I, as I told you, I printed this on the Prusa MKS3. What I didn't know in the beginning is that if you print with TPU, um, and I always print it on the same area, as you can see here, uh, something happened to the, to the, to the spill plate here. I didn't use the, the, the soft one. I used the textured one because I really like the, the bottom you know, to be textured. Uh, but what happened here, I don't know. I will have to take a look under the, uh, with the loop if this is just a crust or if it ripped out some of the P 
PEI or what this coating is made out of. And um, yeah, you can still use it, but uh, it doesn't look nice anymore. But nevertheless, I don't, it doesn't matter really for me because I you can use both sides of this. So uh, yeah, I will go on using this one for the TPU and this one for PETG or other stuff that needs this, this blade. But just that you are aware of it. And Technicore, they share uh, two settings for the Ender 3, I guess it was, and the Sidewinder. One is direct drive and one is Bowden driven for their filament. And I think this is a good starting point for you to, to adapt it to your own machine. And I will also share my Prusser uh, slicer settings and you can maybe stinker it if you want. And yeah, if you would like to see how, how I made these, if you're also a beginner, I, will, I could create a little tutorial how I created them. Uh, the, the smell of these, I discussed also with Mia. She said that yeah, for her, um, I don't remember which one she liked best. I guess, it, I, th I think it was the, the peach. Uh, th regarding the smell, these two here are the strongest ones, str strongest one, the, the strawberry and the, the muffin. I don't know if filament world where I got these from stored these maybe with not sealed away, you know, because I, they, I think they draw these, these samples from full spools. But uh, the lemon doesn't smell very much. The peach, a little bit, the, f the apple, almost not just like the like the lemon then the the strawberry is very strong the muffin is very strong and the fresh is also okay similar to this one so these are medium these almost nothing yeah and these ones are a lot nevertheless i like i like the colors a lot they are a little bit translucent they're not totally opaque so i like the design a lot uh, they're not uh, as easy to print as the extruder. They tend to, to, to create a spider webby, um, you know, little spider webs when you, when you do designs like this, hopping from one area to another. Uh, but as I told you, you can use the, the lighter and I will go on tinkering. I don't know if you would ever really get rid of it totally. Uh, I hope you like this and uh, maybe it's an inspiration for you to, to create something similar. <laughs> so. Yeah, share it with me if you come up with something and hope you liked it. Bye-bye.